like I feel like crap like I was wondering how long it was gonna okay first of all I have seasonal allergies and I kind of was wondering how long it was gonna take for it to actually catch up with me as far as um like a flare a, a allergy flare I, I really think I'm okay a lot of people have se seasonal allergies but my allergies are like really bad like I don't know how it flares up when the pollen comes out it flares up really bad and I had cut the grass and sometimes like when I cut the grass I should wear a mask but I always kind of like get started right into it that I get started right into it that I just once I start cutting it's like I don't even feel like going back behind myself and like getting a mask or anything and I know I need that mask so after I cut the grass I came in, took a shower. Um, I kind of like was so exhausted, like mentally from work the whole week. So I kind of like was gonna take the kids out, take them to dinner, and I did. After I cut the grass, I, I took a shower, took the kids out. I took a shower probably about eight, and then we got back at like 11. So from eight to 11, I'm pretty sure my pores were still open from the shower. I, I go to bed and I kind of like have my fan on low. Like I keep my fan on all year long, even in the winter time. And that was probably where I messed up one. But then my allergies, like I felt it before I went to bed. Like it's kind of like if you have asthma, like I'll, I'll start kind of like wheezing a little bit, like after I cut the grass. And that's what was happening. I started wheezing and I was just like, oh, man, I hope that, you know, my allergies don't flare up. Lord behold, when I woke up Saturday morning, guys, my eyes were puffy like this. I sounded like this. My throat was on fire. My ears were on fire. It always hits my ears and my throat first. And I just felt like I had a hangover. Like I was drinking the night before, but I felt like I had a hangover hangover. Like I was doing excessive drinking or something. All I had was like three margaritas. That's kind of like not that bad, but I felt like I had a hangover. Like somebody just knocked me out. Like it was horrible. So I have to like, I have some masks in my bathroom. I think I'm gonna have to put them like on the middle floor because it's just something about when you get ready to start a project, you don't feel like running all around to find what you need. And if my masks are on the middle floor, I should have a reason like not to go get a mask before I start cutting the grass because the middle floor is the doorway to outside, you know? I'm getting ready for church, but I'm running a little bit better on time this morning, so.
I'm actually thinking about taking some of my stuff back to Ulta and swapping it out for this because look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. And I like how it comes with the wand so you can kind of like do that whole little cut crease thing yourself without having to use like a brush to do it. You have a wand that can guide you. That's awesome. And hold on, I'm gonna just finish putting this on really quick and I'm gonna tell you guys what color it is. It doesn't look like my color, it's like a creamy cashmere color. This is fairy tale ending. And I'm just sharpening that out. I always use my edge brush to sharpen the cat eye at the end like that. I'll smooth it up. And a lot of these brushes that I have, they're e.l.f. brushes. Um, I do buy other generic brushes from places, but I play around with my brushes and using them in different areas. Like, my favorite right now is the pencil brush. Like, I've been, like, doing so awesome in my inner tear duct with my pencil brush. And when I watch people do videos, I always wonder, like, why they always, like, picking up all these brushes like using certain brushes for certain areas because normally I'm used to like using brushes for whatever area I want but now I see the difference now and I'm just like oh yeah They don't ever show you guys this and make it seem so easy and it's like it's a headache but once you master it it's fine it's just a headache and then a tip is i get the i don't get the i have a black one where it comes out like black liner but i don't like it because as you can see sometimes it gets on you but with a clear one when it dries you can't tell that it was liner there if you use the black strip you kind of like you're effed like you have to be like a pro to use the black liner um glue because if not it, it, the black line glue residue will be everywhere Revolution makeup strobe. I used this yesterday. I got a lot of compliments on it yesterday.
and we are all done guys so if you took time to watch this video thanks for watching definitely rate comment subscribe i'm about to go do my hair real quick because i got like five minutes to get to church <laughs> it could be done though but thanks for watching definitely rate comment and subscribe i love you guys and i'll talk to you guys later